in the morning before sunrise and Quran will be read and heard by the people at the same time. The Quran will be recited. So now we need to think, what is that time? It is the time of Sahar, the morning, the time in the morning, Alhamdulillah. And then a person, he is standing at Fajr time and he's listening to Quran. And the person who's got reading is the Imam. And there is the nice feeling at the time and he's got a beautiful melodious voice and he's reciting beautiful Qur'an. Then tell me, tell me, why shouldn't the angels come between the heavens and the earth? And why should Allah Ta'ala not be favorable at that time? SubhanAllah. So all of these things Allah Ta'ala has compacted and put within that time of the Fajr. That everything in this time you can earn the treasures and the rewards and the na'mas and the mercies of Allah. So let's look at the rewards now. What rewards Allah Ta'ala has given a Fajr time. That we should understand this, that so much reward is there that the people who get up and pray Fajr Salah and go to the masjid, or those women who stand to pray Fajr at home in the, in the morning, those people's names in the morning are presented to Allah. The list, the list. And Allah Ta'ala's in His court, imagine that person whose name is being presented in Allah Ta'ala's court in the early hours of the morning. He said, Allah, this is that human being who is praying Fajr. And we've just come to give you the report. They came to the Masjid Allah. Ibn Jariz, radiallahu anhu, he narrates a hadith. Allah Ta'ala from Allah, the announcements made, the masjid full of noor, of light, Allah's karam, Allah's mercy, rewards are being distributed. And people are sitting and doing what? They're remembering Allah. They're doing dhikr of Allah. Allah's Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, after seeing this scene, he stated at this time, Rasulullah Sallallahu said, listen, at this time, by seeing all of this, the most beloved thing for me is to sit with this jama'ah and to do dhikr of Allah at this time. What a great reward, tell me. What a great word. What a beloved group of people, those people who become in the eyes of Allah. Allah Ta'ala loves them, values them, appreciates them. That Allah's Nabi Sallallahu Alhamdulillah, He said, leave everything. This time, after Salah, the most beloved action for me is that Jama'ah. And I have to sit with them. I prefer to sit with them. And they're the most beloved. That is that time for me to sit. So what we realize and learn, that if Rasulullah is sitting, the Mahbub of Allah, then what will those people be? Automatically, that Allah and His Rasulullah's love will be earned by those people who sit and do dhikr at that time. Their emotions will change. Their situation will change. Their heart will change. So a person, if he sits at that time in the dhikr, then the nu- Every day, every day, how many sins we commit in a day? How many sins do we commit in a day? Imagine how much wrong we do, but every day we get a chance to compensate. Allah says, go, I've forgiven you. Everyone who's sitting, I forgive you all. Allah Ta'ala announces, and Allah Ta'ala, before you even leave the Messiah, says, I forgive you. And on top of that, I'm so happy that I feel I give you another reward, I give you a package. Go, you get one hajj, one umrah, complete and accepted reward of hajj and umrah. Allahu Akbar. Allah says, you're forgiven. Not just forgiven, but you get a bonus packet. You get the reward of a complete accepted Hajj and Umrah. You haven't bought a flight ticket. You haven't traveled. Nowadays you have to buy a ticket, travel, tired, come back. We don't even know if it's accepted. And Allah says, when you come to my house in the morning, you pray Fajr, you sit, you do dhikr till sunrise, you will get the reward of Hajj and Umrah accepted before you leave the masjid. Imagine what we've earned at that time in the morning. And then on top of that, Allah says, you're forgiven. One Hajj and Umrah you are taking, totally pure, innocent, like a newborn baby, you're leaving the masjid. And the rest of your day, imagine how that will pass. Inshallah, Allah says, I will give you such angels, they will protect you, I will protect you, and everything in your day there will be barakah and blessings. And if your feet go towards an action that will take you to Jahannam, then inshallah, my angels will protect you and, and steer you away from that bad action. Allah says, I protect you for the rest of the day. I steer you away from the sins and the loss actions. So, is this not a loss? What do I get if I pray?